So we're now under the layout here and I'm going to start showing you how to wire up the switch machine. So you're going to need your toggle switch here. You're also going to need a bus wire for the power here, which I have this just running to one of the tortoise power packs that will power the tortoise switch machines. So it's pretty simple here. Your first step is going to be connect the ends of these wires to the anywhere on the bus line here. What I'm just using is some suitcase connectors here, which makes the process really simple. So I'm just going to take your suitcase connector, put it on your main bus wire. You're going to need something to crimp it down. I'm going to put it through the end that you can put, put it through. It can be kind of difficult and you want to make sure you, the wire does not slide out. There we go. Go ahead and crimp this down. It can help if you have proper crimpers, but I don't. So, I'll make do with what I have. So there we go. Go ahead and close that up. And we'll go ahead and take our white wire here. And my other suitcase connector. And plop that on. Run it through. And then crimp this down. There we go. Oh, it's pretty simple getting this installed. And the next thing we're going to do is run the wire from our toggle here. We're going to have to install them and then run them to our switch machine. So what I did was run two wires that are the same color as these from here to the switch machine. And that's going to, that's going to be what is used to power it. So what we're going to do is install one wire this pole here and one on the other one over here. So we're just going to go ahead and strip these wires here. Go ahead and have a white one too. Strip some of that off. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and pretend these like we did before. Just go ahead and get a little flux on each one. Don't need too much. There we go. Take the soldering iron. And just go ahead and pretend that. Go ahead and grab this one too. There we go. And now what you're going to do is take some pliers. You're going to put a 90 degree or 180 degree bend in each one of these. Doesn't look like I did a good job taking this one, so we'll go ahead and do that again. It needs to be nice and strong. There we go. It's much better. I'm going to take this, bend it around, and make a hook out of it. Don't want to close it all the way like I just did. There you go, like that. There we go. I'm just going to hack it. A little too much still. There we go. Through the hole there. All right, soup. Now you got that. I'll just go ahead and clamp it down. Just temporarily. And then we'll do the same for the white one here. Bend this around. And hook it on the other side this time. Should be something like 
this. It's a little difficult here. There we go. Go ahead and clamp that down too. You just want to go ahead and solder these on once you get it down. There we go. A little flux. I'm going to be careful not to accidentally solder any of your other wires there while you're doing this. There we go. There's that one. Go ahead and get this other side. And there's that one. So now they're all secure. We'll go ahead and move over to our switch machine and uh, get it installed on that. So now we're over here at the switch machine. And what I went ahead and did was pre tin each of these wires that comes and leads to this. And now what we're going to do is solder them to this tortoise switch machine. So, what you want to do, if you're just running to change the throw of the switch, you want to install one on the farthest right and the farthest left slot here. So, some people will just put it through the hole. I, I just solder it to the pad here. So we're going to go ahead and pretend those just to make it a little easier on ourselves, You want to make sure you're careful and you only get solder on the pad you want. There we go. I'm going to get this other one here. And now we will just solder one wire to each side. There we go, there's one. Make sure it's on there good. Go ahead and get the other one. There's that other one. So there we go. We have this all wired up. We can go and check to see if it works. I'm now back over here at the toggle and we can go ahead and check to make sure that it works. So. When you flip the switch, you should be able to hear the switch machine go and it will change direction, which in this case it is doing perfectly. So we got that all wired up. Now you don't want to leave your toggles dangling around and under your layout where you can't reach them. So what you can do is, as I have done over here, you can mount them to the fascia board you're doing that, which is what I've done. And you can also choose if you want them to be up or down to be lined for the main line. In my case, I have them all up. So when you can, are installing them, you can make sure you orientate them so that they are all facing upwards to be on the main line. So that's pretty easy process and you'll get pretty good after you've installed a couple of them. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them and I'll do my best to answer. Hopefully this was a enjoyable and helpful how-to video. And I'll see you guys next time.